Hi guys, um, I'm going to show you in this video today how I do a heart transplant of this about one month old uh, Mac Pro late 2013 which came originally with a 4 core CPU and I'm going to implement this 10 core CM processor and um, while doing this um, I will just leave the camera running but in case I do not run into any issues or everything runs smoothly, I probably won't show it to you. Just because OWC has already a wonderful um, video around implementing uh, or exchanging the CPUs. So what I'm going to need for that, well it's very simple, the CPU of course. Um, I also bought um, a thermal paste, the Arctic Silver. And um, I also have my uh, Torx screwdriver set. Uh, I mainly will need the Torx T10, uh, a T8, a T6, and a T5. So I have everything I need. And in case I run into troubles, uh, as I said, I will let you know. <laughs> This was the heart transplant in less than two minutes. So I'm happy to see that OS X recognizes a 10 core system without any issues and, and that even that the uh, CPU is not officially available from Apple. So most likely you're interested in the results and how the performance of the quad core is compared to its new heart, the 10 core, 3 gigahertz. So I ran Cinebench R15 before and after I upgraded the CPU. To the left of the quad core result at 619, and to the right, uh, the new result for the 10 core, and it is more than doubled at 1470. And finally, the Geekbench result show interestingly enough that the single core speed or score is not much different on both CPUs, even the new one has 700 megahertz less clock speed. The multi-core score of over 30,000 is exactly what I wanted to reach with this, so my mission has been accomplished. Thanks for watching. Peace.